Whitebeard be cracking open his first ever beer by the Ace Hill Beer Company out of Toronto. And by the looks of things, it looks like maybe they're trying to copy Steam Whistle just a little bit. Oh, what? Be going down, people of the world. My name is Redbeard, and this is the Daily Drink Vlog for the beer of the today. We've got a can of Ace Hill Pilsner by the Ace Hill Beer Company. Yes, indeed. Like I said, like this seems to be the only beer they make. A Pilsner out of Toronto. Kind of the same thing that Steam Whistle does. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, they've always loved hosting good times, and good beer is often part of that. That led the co-founder, Blake, to start making beer out of his garage while bringing people together to share it with. Teaming up with some friends from the hospitality world, a serial entrepreneur and marketing expert, together we had a common mission. Loved the quality and care of craft beer, but found that many had become too hoppy or filling to enjoy time and time again. Ace Hill is our answer to the search for, search for a refined, easy-drinking beer that can always hit the spot. Sure, I don't know. If it's a Pilsner that's made yummy Pilsnery kind of way, then I'll, I'll agree. Let's crack her open. And let's see what we have got. This looks pretty all right there. A little tiny bit of a haze to it. Hmm. I, I don't know. Doesn't look bad at all. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world. Go to those who watch my videos. The beard loves you all so very, very, very much. Nice looking beer for sure right there. It's kind of interesting if you look at the head from below. I don't know. It's something I don't think I've ever noticed before. Hmm. Not getting a whole lot of that really nice kind of multi aroma that I, I like so much. It, it smells like beer. Let's give her a shot. That's not bad. It's got that really nice multi character, but it's kind of underlying a little bit. Doesn't have like a a whole lot of the the flavors bursting in my mouth kind of thing, but it's that's pretty good. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, easy drinking, for sure. Hit the spot. Yeah, not bad. Like on a hot summer day or something. That'd go down like a freaking glass of water. The Ace Hill Pilsner is slow crafted in Canada with the utmost attention to detail, resulting in a delicious, easy drinking, award winning beer. Ingredients water, barley malt, hops, and yeast. 4.9% alcohol. And. Brewed on the 28th of November of last year. So, <clears throat> probably wouldn't want to have it too much longer than that. It's a couple months now. Right in that range. But, it hasn't gone bad or anything. It's, st it's still doing okay. Yeah, I like that. 4.9, just, you know, nice, not really up there in the alcohol. You could have a six-pack of those in an evening without much trouble at all. I could. Today being January, nope, that was last month, on the ball, sure am. Today being February 7th, on this day, 1935, Monopoly was invented. The board game, the classic real estate, real estate, like, come on. Real estate trading game, I believe, is their tagline for it. Yeah. And I don't know if you've heard, but there are plans to release some interesting new tokens. They might be getting rid of, like, the wheelbarrow and the fim thimble or something. You need to, like, don't change that shit. They want to put an emoji in, like, a penguin? A penguin is more culturally relevant than the thimble? Fuck you. Horseshit. I say.
Mm. Yeah. It's not hoppy or filling like they say there. Although, I myself like a beer that's super, super hoppy. And I can drink a few of them. That'd be just me though, I don't know. A year or so ago, that was not the case. Really, really not the case. Mm. Yeah, just a good, easy drinking Pilsner. Like, it's been a while since I've had one, but the top of my, I don't think this tastes a whole lot different from Steam Whistle, like I was saying at the beginning. Mm. Like the whole do one thing really, really well. That's what they're trying to do as well, kind of thing. Good on them, good on you, I guess. Not overly original, but. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nice multi burp. On this date in 1962, the U.S. banned all Cuban imports and exports. Yeah. I think they uh, exported, what is it like? Uh, you got nickel, tobacco, fish, medical products, sugar. I think that's it. Let me see. I had I the page open here. I just kind of lost it for a second. It disappeared. Nah, nah, nah. Citrus fruits. That was the other one. I have most of them though. Hey, eh? okay, I could have been worse. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not too terrible or something. I don't know. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Oh, I'm, I don't. I can't see, like, Cuba's pretty small. I can't see them really supplying the U.S. with that much of any of those. Although, apparently, they have a decent amount of nickel. Canada apparently owns a nickel mine in Cuba. It was a thing that was there. Yeah. Nothing else I can really say about this. If you like a Pilsner, try this Pilsner. Because it's a... Son of a fuck. Good Pilsner. That's where I, where I was going with that. Yeah. Really should uh, give myself a reminder written down somewhere to put the goddamn phone on silent when I do the vlog. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Sure would, but I'm a, I'm a genius like that, you know. That's how it is. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> really nothing else I can say about this beer. On this date in 1979, Pluto moved inside Neptune's orbit for the first time since either planet was discovered. If you're not aware, I I think Neptune has a regular orbit, but Pluto's orbit is kind of like elliptical, so not a perfect circle, but like an oval, and it goes inside, and it's actually, I'm not sure if it's still inside, but when it is inside, it's no longer the, although it's not even a planet, it used to, call, it used to be the furthest planet out from the sun, but since the discovery of a bunch of other what do they call them? Dwarf planets around there. Some, well, at least one of them is more massive than Pluto, so they're, Pluto's not a planet anymore. It makes sense. You know, Pluto has five moons as well. Pretty interesting. And one of them has enough of a gravitational pull. I think I can get the GIF. If you call it a GIF, I hate you. The GIF to go up here. And it actually shows that the one moon literally pulls Pluto around and it's not just spinning in one spot. It like spin, it spins and spins around. It's a something centric orbit that I can't think of the name for right now. And I seem to have closed that tab because I'm a genius. Genius. <sighs> Ace Hill, you're a brewmaster. Not genius? All right, this could be the malt flavor could be elevated a bit more, in my opinion. But he did a damn decent job. 
I gotta say. Finally on this date, in 2009, bushfires in Victoria, Australia, leave 173 people dead. The worst natural disaster in Australia's history. So, terrible that 173 people die, but at the same time, kind of remarkable that that's the worst natural disaster that you ever had. Check number the last. Ah, mm. Good stuff. Quite, quite nice. Ace Hill, your Pilsner. Rating. It's a solid eight. It's a solid eight. A little more of the multi flavor. Might have bumped it up a little bit, but nothing bad. I liked it. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button if you want to see more of my videos, and be sure to smash that subscribe button if you've got some to save me. Put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A piece of... Randomly was annoyed by that whole Pluto thing. Pluto and the moon Charon are in hydrostatic equilibrium with each other. That's what it's called. Yeah, I don't know.